Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to use the PDF Overlay tool. With this feature you can overlay a PDF blueprint onto your scene for more accurate construction and excavation. In this tutorial, we will cover five objectives related to PDF Overlay. First, we will learn how to create a PDF Overlay. Then, we will use actual measurements to generate the PDF to scale. We will adjust the PDF to account for margins and demonstrate how to customize its transparency. Finally, we will learn how to hide or clear your PDF overlay. Let's get started. First, select the model you want to apply an overlay to. Then, click on Create PDF Overlay in the Element Properties. A grid system will appear. You can hide this grid if desired by toggling the visibility option on the top of your screen. Click in Scene and make sure the top left corner of your PDF is aligned with the desired location in your Fusor scene. When the red point is set, you can use measurements from your blueprint to adjust the size of the overlay. Enter these dimensions directly into the Width and Length fields. Alternatively, you can hold Alt and move your cursor to see a box form. It is recommended to use the Width and Length fields for accuracy. Once you've set the dimensions, click Generate. This will open the File Explorer. Pick the PDF you want to use. Note that the tool only takes the first page of the PDF, so make sure it's the one you want, or create a new PDF with only the desired page. Once you've selected the PDF from your file explorer, the overlay will appear in your scene. Use the red reference frame to ensure your measurements are correct. If your PDF has margins, you can still use the blueprint measurements and then scale and refit your overlay so the margins are outside of the red reference frame. When you finish refitting, your overlay becomes part of the scene. You can click through the PDF to trace excavation plans. It is important to know you can only generate one PDF at a time. To adjust transparency, select the PDF in screen. Select the color override option in Fuser and edit the transparency with the slide bar. The overlay starts at 50% transparency, allowing you to see the ground or model below and trace out the blueprint with the new excavation tool. When your PDF is no longer useful, you can hide it. To hide a PDF, go to Visibility Override, expand Fuser Content, and hide your specific PDF under Assigned Media. If you would like to bring in a different version or new PDF, you can clear the current one. To clear a PDF, select it, look at the element properties, and select the Clear PDF option. And that's it! You've successfully overlaid a PDF onto your scene. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel and explore Fuse's powerful VDC tools.